Buckle up, everyone. You are strapped in and ready for the Insurance Hour with me, your host, Carl Sussman. Informing, educating, and entertaining Californians one policy at a time. This is Insurance Hour. Hello, hello. This is Insurance Hour. I am your host, Carl Sussman. Thank you so much for being here. The phone lines are open, 559-656-0317. You can also send your questions in to questions at insurancehour.com. And of course, if you need help immediately, you can dial pound 250 on your cell phone and use the keyword insurance to get someone that can help you right away. Today, we have a special guest. We have Assembly Member Blanca Pacheco, and thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. Absolutely. We actually have met before. I'll tell everyone the story because it's sort of funny. We met when I was in Sacramento and we sat down to interview only to find that we were having some technical issues with the equipment. So we decided we would have a do-over. And so I'm, I'm here in Southern Cal. And are you up in Sacramento right now? I am. And you should be glad you're not in Sacramento because we have over 110 degree weather. Oh my gosh. It's just, it is just crazy. I think I saw for the first time today, someone, uh, there was a message that said, O's atmospheric and heat warning. And I'm thinking, when did we start getting atmospheric warnings? Is that a new thing? I've never heard of that. I've never heard of it either. <laughs> well, they have to keep us clicking, right? Well, let's, let's jump in. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell everyone a little bit about yourself. What, what made you decide uh, to get involved in politics? So, interesting enough, I always wanted to be an attorney. I went to UCLA and then went to Loyola Law School, became an attorney, passed the California State Bar exam, and about 10 years into my practice, I decided to get involved with the community, got involved with the Kiwanis Club of Downey, and then I got involved with uh, other service groups, and eventually... That led to being asked to run for city council in 2016. And then eventually, when there became a vacancy at the state assembly level, uh, I was asked to run for state assembly, and here I am. I'm two years into uh, my uh, service as the assembly member. And what territory is it that you're representing? So I represent the 64th assembly district, which covers the city where I live, uh, city of Downey. Uh, I have various other cities like Bell, Cudahy, Bell Gardens, Norwalk, Santa Fe Springs, La Mirada, La Habra, and South Whittier. So it is quite a number of cities. For sure. I think they're suffering from heat right now, just like you are. So you're, you're suffering together, even though you're not together physically. That's true. So now, now that you're up there and, and you're doing the people's bidding, do you, is, it, is it what you were expecting? You feel like this is uh, what, you, what, you're, what you signed up for is what you wanted to do? I really enjoy what I do, but I'm not going to lie. I do miss being home. I miss being with my family, with my dog. Uh, but the work that I do up here, it means a lot, and I enjoy what I do. Well, that's the best thing. Some, a wise man once said, what, if you do what you do for a living, you never work a day in your life, Some, something along those lines. And it's, it's probably true. But so how do you balance that home life and work life? Because you're in Sacramento and everyone else, your family is down here. So how does how do you handle that? How does that work? So I call my mom every day. I call in, check in to see how everybody's doing. Uh, so I, I'm always in contact with uh, my family in, uh, in L.A., and so you, do you live in Sacramento and you fly back and forth? or what, what's, what do the mechanics of that look like? So typically I fly up here to Sacramento on Monday mornings and then fly back home Thursday afternoons. Uh, except for tonight, I will be flying home tonight because tomorrow is 4th of July. That's right. That's right. So uh, you, you, they're, they're giving you recess air quotes, which I always think is a funny way of saying it, like you're in kindergarten. <laughs> or back, work back home in the district. Right, exactly. So in addition to representing your particular territory, are there any other positions, uh, committees, things like that, that you've, that you've gotten involved in since being, uh, since being up there? So I am uh, on four committees. I am the chair of rules. I am also on judiciary, which makes sense as an attorney. I'm also on local gov and on governmental organization. Now, tell me, a I'm, I'm curious, tell me a little bit about, I mean, I like the idea of chair of rules. 
that sounds like something from Harry Potter. What what is what does that mean exactly? <laughs> so pretty much, I am in charge with the operations of the state assembly. Uh, I deal with uh, bill referrals um, and just the ongoings of the uh, assembly. And so, in addition to what you do for your constituents, you're working in these committees, and that's for the whole state for the most part. Correct. It's a lot of responsibility for somebody two years in, and and you <laughs> still is. find time to have a life. Yes, and work out. Work out every morning at 6 a.m. Oh, don't start with that. <laughs> you're, you're one of those people. I, I subscribe to the philosophy where they say, no pain, no gain, right? Uh-huh. I say, no pain, stop. We're good. No, we don't need to go any further than that, right? If anyone has questions they'd like to talk with the assembly person, please give us a call at 559 559- Six five six zero three one seven. Any questions you'd like to ask, also you can send in by, by text to that same phone number or send an email to questions at insurancehour.com and we will get those right over to the assemblywoman. If we're already off the air, I will still forward your, your question or your email to her and she can uh, respond to you directly. Now, I know what the, the genesis of us speaking, in addition to just having a good time, was there's a particular bill that is near and dear to your heart. So before we take our first break, can you just give me the, the gist of the, the, the genesis of where that bill came from and what it is? So uh, I, I'm of the promo proponent that we need to protect our small businesses. And so I am carrying a bill this year called AB 2743. Uh, and what it does is it addresses a significant unintended increase in financial responsibility for peer-to-peer car sharing programs that we have here in the state of California. Peer-to-peer car sharing. I can't wait to talk. I cannot wait to talk about that because <laughs> this, this, is a new, this is a new one to me. It's not Uber because that's ride sharing. This is car sharing. Car sharing. All right, let's take our first quick break. And when we come back, we're going to hear about car sharing. We're going to hear about this bill and, and what it's all about. Again, this is Insurance Hour. I am your host, Carl Sussman, with special guest today, Blanca Pacheco from Sacramento, where she's sweating it out right now. You can reach us at 559-656-0317. Or, of course, send your email to questions at insurancehour.com. Any immediate concerns that you have insurance-wise, grab your cell phone, dial pound 250, use the keyword insurance, and with a little bit of luck, the technology will work, and that will transfer you to someone that can help you right away. We will take our first break and be back in a flash. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And don't forget, click here to watch the next video. This show is dedicated to Shamrock Papa.